Hey, what's up guys? Computer Surgeon here, and today I have three iPad minis, one of which I will be unboxing. As you can see here, I have the boxes, and inside are all devices, and you can see that they are still wrapped in the plastic that they come in. I know that there's a lot of speculation when it comes to unboxing or having a lot of iPads or Apple devices or really any device because, you know, people can just buy the boxes and say that they have 100 iPads, but they really don't. But this is the Space Gray 16, uh, 16 gigabyte iPad Mini 4 that we will be unboxing today. I just love unboxing Apple products. You know, they're really sleek, and they always come with with a really nice clean unboxing and they don't really waste any packaging space and it's just a really nice compact feeling especially removing all this plastic and everything from their products and opening the box to see the device is always something a little struggle uh, but it's always nice to see that and as you can see here we have the uh, iPad mini 4 uh, wrapped in the plastic that we are going to take off in a second and it's just the greatest feeling in the world to take out this iPad so we're going to go ahead and peel the tab and uh, take this out of the packaging that it comes in so we can get right into the um, kind of the brain of the video where I show you guys, you know, uh, that it turns on that it is a real Apple product, and we're gonna get into some Geekbench scores and compare that to a few others later and a few other devices. But while this is turning on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what comes in the box. I'm sure you guys are all aware of this because I'm sure you guys have all unboxed some kind of iPhone or iPad in your lives. I mean, who hasn't? Um, but uh, the video or the uh, box just comes with really all the basic essentials, you know, the uh, brick charger that I don't really care about, and this pamphlet that gives you instructions and the stickers, don't really care about that either, and of course the charger that plugs into the brick, don't care about that either. It has given me a nice hello, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back in here because I'm OCD about my boxes, but throw that off to the side so we can get into the real unboxing. But the iPad Mini 4 right now is retailing for about $399.99, and this is rocking the 7.9 inch um, LED multi-touch display with the 64-bit Apple 8 processor and this also has 326 uh, pixels per inch as the screen resolution. Basic setup, you know, just going through the Wi-Fi and everything. You guys may have been able to see my password, but whatever, I'm not too worried about it. Compared to other versions like the uh, Apple second generation you will see here, it is um, very much a massive difference between the two in size and the um, scores and performance rates that it does have. Granted, this is the iPad mini, so of course it's going to be a little bit smaller, but they are able to pack um, a lot more of a punch with the mini than what this is. Granted, it is second generation versus the fourth generation, but um, still, that's pretty big movement, and Apple has always been making innovations like that a lot, but not so much in the recent, um, well, with the talks of the iPhones, or the, yeah, the iPhone 7 and the Mac. Um, it'll be interesting to see what comes next week when they announce the iPhone 7. Hopefully, it'll be worth the wait, but from what it sounds like so far, it's not really going to be all that special, and I've been told to wait until the iPhone 7S or the iPhone 8 even to get much of a difference uh, from the iPhone 6. So hopefully that's not the case because everybody likes Apple's products and they all work well. Let's go into the settings and we will see um, that it does give me the serial number and the um, all the uh, product numbers and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to block that out so you guys can't really see that, but they are there, I promise you. We're just going to set up Touch ID really quick so you guys can see that that does work. And a lot of the models that come from China and the fake ones, Touch ID is very iffy and does not work um, as well, but it's just a way for me to prove to you guys that this is the real deal. Of course, I wouldn't lie about something like this, but you know, uh, a lot of YouTubers have been faking things like this in the past and destruction videos and things like that. Not calling anybody out, but you know, that is the truth, unfortunately. Um, but we will be getting into the Geekbench scores here in a little bit, and it is pr pretty impressive for this small little thing uh, that's not too much bigger than an iPhone. Granted, it is pretty large but not as uh, big as the iPhone obviously if we go ahead and try the touch ID it does go in um, it failed once but it do does go in right away and as you can see here for the single core it might be a little bit blurry it scored a 1629 and for the multi core it scored a 2756 which is very very good for how small this thing is granted uh, it could use a little bit of improvements and um, as well as speed but compared to other devices it's freaking awesome so that's about it for this unboxing video guys I did have a few others that I wanted to unbox but not much and we're just gonna do one last size comparison for the uh, second generation versus the fourth generation iPad mini very big difference between the size and how it looks but that is about it for the video guys make sure you give it a thumbs up it would really help me and let me know in the comment section if you guys did enjoy this video and some products you want to see in the future um, I will be doing a video on the Fitbit Ulta here in a little bit so you guys can check out the review for that and make sure you guys subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later peace out